The hard conditions of life in Sardinia have dictated many things over the centuries. One thing was the need for an all-purpose tool that would serve farmers and shepherds, housewives and bandits in their daily activities. Back in the old days, they used to brand sheep with them. Like, I don't know, they cut their little names into their, you know, their ears or something like that. I guess they cut cheese and sausage, but as the legend goes, they're also used for hacking off the ears of the kidnap victims to send them to their loving relatives to jack them up for ransom. So I'm thinking, <laughs> very useful in this ugly business of television. The Sardinian patata, or shepherd's knife, is the one thing pretty much all Sardinians agree on. Everyone seems to have one, and it gets used constantly in the course of daily life here. Patata is the town made famous for its knife makers, and the Fogarizu family is one of the most prominent knife makers in town. Our friend Lisa joined Salvatore Fogarizu and I to explain the making of these knives. Everything is made here from the blade, the Everything, handle, yes, the assembly. Yeah. Yeah, they can do just one knife per day. So this has to be an all-purpose knife, yes. right? And the handle is from either a ram or from a or, mountain goat. Yeah, yeah. But they cannot kill any more of the animal for the horn. Right, so you, all, you can only use old ones. His grandfather didn't work only on knife. I mean, he was a black smith. Black smith so. so they did everything also this for shepherd. It was to ah, cut. Ah, for sheep shears. Yeah. You know, so, oh, careful. <laughs> I'm going to use these on the subway. <laughs> these sheep shears aren't exactly workers safe. Sardinians expect you to know what you're doing with dangerous tools. It's worth pointing out that the shepherd's knife is non-locking. So there is no protection. You know, when you turn mm -hmm. the blade, you cannot fix the blade. You know, even if when you cut, right. you, you cannot fix. If you do this, you can it'll, cut yourself. Yeah, can come like So you this. have to be careful. Yeah. But people still use these. I mean, my, yeah. my wife's family, I notice when the sausage comes out or the ham, the, yeah. the, the knife comes out. Yeah. The majority of the shepherd's knives made in Italy are stainless steel, but it's still possible to get an old-fashioned, high-carbon, non-stainless steel blade here in Patata. Of course, then you have to take care of it. Someone thinks that this is a, not a good knife because when they leave it... Yeah, because if you yeah. ignore this, if you just put it in a drawer and yeah, leave it, it gets rusty. And yeah. Old school chefs like high-carbon, uh -huh. but it requires a lot more maintenance. You have to... Stainless is easy, you can abuse it. Yeah. You don't have to work, you know, clean it all the time. Um, this, if you take care of it, if you love it, it's a better knife. Everyone here seems to delight in scaring the visitors with bandit stories. I figured this might be the place to get a straight answer on the subject. Now, please ask about this, because everywhere I go in Sardinia, everybody's talking about the banditi. Yeah. They, if you go from one town to the other, yeah. everyone says, oh, well, they have bandits over there. Yeah. Then you go to that town, and everything's very nice, okay. but, but they say, where are you going next? And you say, well, I'm going to the next time. They, oh, well, there are bandits over there. Where are there still bandits? Or? There is no more bandits. They're retired. They're really in Miami now. Forse <laughs> vivono a New York. 40 years ago. Right. And then this is... Needless to say, I had to get one of these knives. The Fogaritsu family makes a variety of blades for collectors, but the only one for me is an old-school shepherd knife. So this is the typical one, the standard one. This is the standard one. You never know when you'll run into a retired banditi or a wheel of pecorino around here. Ooh. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> <laughs>